the idea of memory, the human right. Uh, actually, many conversations with Dominic uh, Gonzalez Förster about memory led to the new section. Um, Dominic uh, told us about one of her earliest projects, which dates back to more, actually more than 40 years. She invented it very early on, more than 40 years ago. Dominic Gonzalez Förster had this idea of a memory palace. We have obviously Crystal Palace here in uh, Kensington Gardens, 1851. We had Cedric Price's idea of the Fun Palace in the early 60s. And Dominic, more than 40 years ago, had this idea of uh, um, a memory palace, which had all to do with this idea of uh, a place for memory, a performative place for memory. And that leads us to the next section. Um, in conversation with Dominic, we thought about this idea of memory appearing in the form of the script, the score, and the note. Um, and we will begin this section with a collaboration between Giselle Vienne, Dennis Cooper, and KTL. KTL are Stephen O'Malley and Peter Reilberg. Giselle Vienne is a Franco-Austrian artist. She has actually, um, uh, since 2004, choreographed and directed often in collaboration with the writer Dennis Cooper, but also on her own. But these collaborations with Dennis Cooper include, I apologize, Une Belle Enfant Blonde, uh, a young, beautiful blonde girl, Kinder Toten leader, track a radio play at France Culture, This Is How You Will Disappear, and Last Spring, a prequel. Um, in March 2011, Giselle, Dennis Cooper, Peter Reberg, and Johnson Capteville published an audio book in uh, English and French, Through Their Tears, published uh, in this voir. Dennis Cooper is a novelist, poet, and critic. He's the author of many novels, including the celebrated sequence of five novels, The George Miles Cycle, and most recently, The Marbled uh, Swarm. Uh, he's also a contributing editor to Art Forum, and as said, has very often collaborated with Giselle Vienne. He lives in Paris and also Los Angeles. Denise and Giselle will be presenting some of their many collaborative projects, as well as also images from the book, 40 Portraits, which include dolls made by Giselle Vienne, uh, as well as also Kinder Toten Leader by Dennis Cooper and Estranged by KTL. A very warm welcome to Giselle Vienne and Dennis Cooper. Sir. Thank you for coming to this memorial concert for my friend. And I want to thank one of his favorite bands for agreeing to play here today. He was my friend since we were 12 years old. And I know he would have. T 
two boys. How cool would it have been to live back when the wind and birds and avalanches sounded like Black Sabbath and killing people, killing gave people these huge fucking hard-ons? You'd be so dead. If death is like a million miles of this, then pick up that rock over there and pretend you're Poland in the 40s and my head is Adolf Hitler. If I rubbed a magic lamp and some genie smoked out and granted me three wishes, I'd wish for a zillion euros infinite wishes, and that the lamp was your cock. So many evil people have designs on my crotch. It's like a thousand pairs of hands are crumpling one piece of paper. chug a lug a zillion beers, then behead your wife and kids. What do you want to be? I mean, besides my sex slave slut. Me growing up is such an oxymoron, it makes the Flintstones seem like the Dead Sea Scrolls unless 16 counts. Okay, I'd like to turn 16. Body. Not the kid who dreamt it would be a magician. Not the kid who thought it could survive anywhere like an astronaut. Not the kid who'd pass out on the sidewalk like it was his sleeping bag. Not the kid who'd drug it and try to escape like it's hostage. Not the kid who'd plant it in front of my TV for days at a time like he was part of my furniture. Not the kid who said he could disappear and I wouldn't even notice like it was a magician. Not the kid whose dead body was so unbelievable that I yelled at it. How the fuck could you do that? Gymnast. I wanted to do two things. One, like the things I've done before, but better. And one, like the earlier things I did, but worse. And I'm not talented enough. There are people who said I'd be the greatest gymnast ever. Not some girl who got compared to Alina Kabayeva or Olga Kapranova and geniuses like that because I was prettier than them when I was younger, but they'll all be dead soon like my work. When I started training, I was a seven-year-old piece of shit inside who had a body I decided could communicate for God who was just using my shittiness as his home away from home, and there is your proof. <coughs> Two boys.
What's wrong with you? I killed my girlfriend. I thought the forest would erase it or hide me. I'm famous out there. Did you rape her? You think that would have made it magic? Yes. She was my girlfriend. I didn't need to. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to kill myself, but I thought I was too important. Now, it will be both of us. I wasn't thinking. I never think. That's why I don't kill that girl. People would care. But I want to. You can kill me. Being killed would sound better. You're too stoned to know. Eternally. I should probably kill somebody, but not like this. Don't rape me. I'll be shocked if I do. <coughs> Lead singer. <coughs> Lead singer. This is the last show we're ever going to play. We're done. We're gone. You guys just didn't believe in us enough. You didn't give enough of a shit. Thanks for nothing. It's your loss. This is our last song for all eternity. I think you know it. Thank you.